The Stairad Velocity Biological Indicator System offers advanced, reliable technology with results read out in just 30 minutes. In this video, we will provide an overview for its use. It's important to identify the indications for use of the Stairad Velocity Biological Indicator, or BI, in conjunction with the Stairad Velocity Reader. Biological monitoring provides the only direct measure of lethality of a sterilization cycle. Therefore, it is to be used as a standard method for monitoring each of the following Stairad sterilization system cycles. The standard, flex, express, and duo cycles of the Stairad 100NX with and without all clear technology. The standard and advanced cycles of the Stairad NX with and without all clear technology and the Stairad 100S. Always check the expiration date on the Stairad Velocity Biological Indicator box as well as on the individual vials to be used. To ensure that the integrity of the ampule has not been compromised, inspect the test vial to confirm the following. The growth medium is purple. The ampule is intact, meaning not broken or cracked. The chemical indicator, or CI, on the cap is red-pink. And the spore disc is lying horizontally in the bottom of the growth reservoir. Next, record the sterilizer ID, load cycle ID, and date on the cap label. Do not apply tape or labels to the BI cap prior to sterilization or the growth reservoir prior to reading. When preparing a Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator to monitor a sterilization cycle, do not place it in a peel pouch. If you're applying tape to secure the biological indicator to the shelf, use only Sterad SealSure tape. As a reminder, do not apply tape or labels to the BI cap prior to processing in the Sterad sterilization systems. The tape will block the sterilant ingress windows, causing misleading results. Additionally, do not place marks on the barcode. Placing marks on the barcode may interfere with a barcode reader's ability to retrieve barcode data. If the Sterad sterilizer is equipped with a scanner, scan the barcode on the cap label. When using the Sterad NX or the Sterad 100 NX, place the BI on the bottom shelf close to the rear of the sterilization chamber. When using the Sterad 100S, place the indicator in the bottom close to the front of the sterilization chamber. After the cycle is completed, put on protective gloves and remove the biological indicator from the sterilizer. Check the chemical indicator on the top of the BI to ensure the color changed from red-pink to yellow. Then remove any tape from the growth reservoir prior to placing the BI in the reader. The tape will obstruct the fluorescence detection, causing misleading results. Inspect the BI to ensure that the growth medium is purple, the ampule remained intact during the sterilization cycle, and the spore disc is lying horizontally on the bottom of the growth reservoir. Finally, be aware that the BI must be placed in the reader within two hours of completing the sterilization cycle. Let's review the instructions for operation of the reader and incubation of a process test biological indicator. To begin, touch an available well indicator number on the reader's touch screen. The selected well will then be used for reading. Next, touch Test to add a process test biological indicator to the well. Before placing the BI in the well, first scan the barcode on the cap label using the barcode scanner on the front of the reader. For best results, position the BI 4 inches in front of the barcode scanner during scanning. Enter the operator's name in the space provided or select the operator's name from the list. You will be prompted to inspect the chemical indicator on the top of the cap for color change from red-pink to yellow, which confirms the BI has been exposed to hydrogen peroxide.
Next, complete the requested information fields before touching Next. This information can be found on the cycle printout from the corresponding Sterad sterilizer. Finally, activate the BI before placing it in the reader. To activate, completely press the cap down until the glass ampule breaks. Then visually inspect to ensure the glass ampule has broken. Shake it rapidly to ensure liquid flows into the growth reservoir. Failure to do so may result in incorrect reading. Once complete, Place the processed BI in the selected reader well. Test results will be available in 30 minutes. Do not remove the BI until incubation is complete. Doing so will void the BI. A positive control is used to ensure that the biological indicator and the reader are functioning properly. A positive control is an unprocessed Sterad Velocity BI, which is activated and read in the Sterad Velocity Reader. To perform this control, select a positive control BI from the same lot as the test BI. Inspect the positive control to ensure the growth medium is purple, the ampule is intact, the chemical indicator on the cap is red-pink, and the spore disc is lying horizontally in the bottom of the growth reservoir. Next, touch an available well indicator number on the reader's touch screen. When asked what type of BI will be added, touch Control. Scan the barcode on the cap label using the barcode scanner located on the front of the reader. Then enter the operator's name in the space provided or select the operator's name from the list. If configured, an optional screen prompt will ask the operator to visually confirm the color of the chemical indicator located on the cap. Activate the BI before placing it in the reader. To activate, completely press the cap down until the glass ampule breaks and visually inspect to ensure the glass ampule has broken. Shake rapidly to ensure liquid flows into the growth reservoir. Failure to do so may result in incorrect reading. Finally, place the control BI in the selected reader well. Test results will be available in 30 minutes. A new positive control must be performed at least once every 24 hours using a biological indicator from the same lot as the test indicator. The test results are considered invalid if there are no positive control results. To read the chemical indicator result, compare the CI color against the CI of an unprocessed biological indicator. The CI shifts from red-pink when unprocessed to yellow when processed after exposure to the hydrogen peroxide sterilization process. A processed CI may also be yellow with some red, orange, and brown dots. A negative result on a test BI is indicated by a green well number. This result signifies that a sterilization condition was achieved, which is sufficient to kill at least one million of the most resistant identified bacterial spores in the BI. Test BI results are only valid with positive control results. To view the result confirmation, touch the green well indicator number or remove the BI from the well. For additional details or to add notes to the BI record, touch View and Print Result Summary. A positive result on a test BI is indicated by a red well number. This result signifies that a sterilization condition was not achieved. If a positive result is observed, touch Continue or remove the BI to silence the alarm. Enter the name of the operator acknowledging the result and touch Done when finished. Then repeat the test with a second BI. If the second BI is negative, run a third BI to confirm sterilizer performance. If either the first, second, or third BI is positive, follow the current hospital or healthcare facility's policies and procedures regarding quarantine or retrieval and reprocessing of potentially non-sterile instruments and notification of the physician or physicians. Finally, report the positive BI to ASP, including the product lot number. 
Have the sterilizer checked by ASP and do not use the sterilizer unit until it has been checked. A positive result on a control BI indicates that both the reader and the BI are functioning properly. A negative result on a control BI could have several causes. Refer to the troubleshooting section of the Sterad Velocity Reader User's Guide for detailed instructions. If a negative result is observed, repeat the test with the second BI from the same lot number as the BI which had a negative result. If the second BI is negative, consult the Sterad Velocity Reader User's Guide troubleshooting section and contact ASP. Discard Sterad Velocity BI ampules after final reading based on your facility's procedures. Any positive BI, including a positive control BI or one from a canceled cycle, should be autoclaved for at least 30 minutes at 121 degrees Celsius, 250 degrees Fahrenheit, or per your hospital or healthcare facility's policies and procedures. To ensure proper storage, BIs should be stored in a sealed, foiled pouch between 41 degrees to 86 degrees Fahrenheit at or below 65% RH. Write the discard date or expiration after opening the foil pouch on the shelf pack when it is first opened. Discard remaining BIs three months after opening the foil pouch. Do not use a Sterad Velocity BI beyond the expiration date printed on the package or the discard date written on the front of package. Once open, the BIs should be stored between 41 degrees to 77 degrees Fahrenheit at or below 50% RH. Do not store near any sterilizer, sources of ethylene oxide, hydrogen peroxide, acids, alkalis, or volatile antimicrobials such as glutaraldehyde or formaldehyde, sterad cassettes, or any other oxidizers. This concludes our overview of the Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator System. For complete information and instructions, please refer to the Sterad Velocity Biological Indicator instructions for use, the Sterad Velocity Wall Chart, and the Sterad Velocity Reader User's Guide.